It happening now, Greenwood police are looking for answers in an apparent homicide case. This after a young male was found shot to death inside of a car on a quiet street, neighborhood street. Fox 59, Zach Myers live for us this morning in Greenwood with, with the very latest on what we know so far. Zach, good morning. Good morning, guys, and that's right. There are many more questions than answers here in this quiet neighborhood uh, in Greenwood. I just heard back from the chief of Greenwood Police about 20 minutes ago, and he just said simply they don't have any new information to release right now. Uh, this neighborhood, for those familiar with the area, is the, uh, the Central Park neighborhood just across the street from Grassy Creek Elementary. Normally quiet, but around 7 o'clock last night, investigators had focused their attention on a victim found apparently shot to death inside a car just a couple doors down from where I'm standing now. We know that the car is registered to an address in Indianapolis, but we don't know much about the victim. He is believed to be in his late teens, possibly 18. Investigators tell us that neighbors told them they heard at least one gunshot, looked outside, and then saw two teenagers running away from that car. When police got here, then they found the, uh, the victim dead inside the car, apparently shot to death. We don't know what happened to those two teens who ran off. Uh, we don't know if Greenwood police have anyone in custody at this time, and we don't know what, if any, connection there is between the car and this neighborhood or the, the people involved in this neighborhood. Johnson County Coroner tells, us, uh, tells me that his office is still working to make positive identification on the victim, and at last check overnight, they were still trying to contact next of kin. An autopsy on the victim is scheduled for today, but in the meantime, as I mentioned, the folks in this uh, normally quiet neighborhood will certainly be interested to learn what was going on out here last night that led to this deadly violence uh, as well as our viewers at home so as soon as we get any update from Greenwood police we'll bring it to you right here and online throughout the day we're live in Greenwood Zach Myers Fox 59 news Zach